it was nice to meet i always like to meet people talk to them and see to it whatever i can be able to learn whatever i can be able to give or tell about my life whatever it is so that's the things i belong to i was born and brought up in haryana rohtak and uh, uh, when i was 2 months old that time my mother felt some problem in her eyes she couldn't able to recognize what exactly the problem is but she felt she is not seeing the light directly something is there then she brought this things to the family and that time you know i if i will talk 64 years back women are not having this thing ki they could be able to talk very directly to the family for about everything but she told this thing to the family and family said ki you take her to the some doctor doctor can be able to find out she took me to the doctor the doctor said i cannot be able to tell you you take her to the ophthalmologist so at last they came to know ki she can she can be not able to see throughout her life it was a big trauma for the family you can understand if they will feel that is some girl has born and girl with this disability and the thing is the family was also little bit you know conservative family in in small part of haryana rohtak you can understand so they couldn't able to take it but i can say that my parents were very positive and they have inside their wish that whatever it is but we will see to it that we will bring her in her life so somehow my mother took me to all over india to different doctors whatever she was finding ki some good ophthalmologist is there good hospital is there she has taken me everywhere for 4 5 years but at last she brought me to chennai and chennai the doctor said uh she is she cannot be able to see throughout her life but she is a good child brilliant child looking like brilliant child so please think about her education so first time the doctor told my mother you think about her education there are ways and means that visually impaired people also could be able to study i am really happy now after 60 years later i will see some hospitals have put the rehabilitation center and they will guide the parents very properly a lot of people we are connected with this netra i hospital or different hospitals and they will keep sending people to mitra jyoti if they feel that nothing can be done but 60 years back nobody could see think about it mm. keep for the rehabilitation but my mother was always look for new new things and she was always thinking ki how i will give her education so after coming from chennai then she started searching ki how i how i can make her educated she went to delhi some schools she has seen but she was not happy to see the situation the all the schools were going with the donations and the living standard was not good she said in our house we are living like this how can i leave my daughter there so she could able to do so but at home she arranged all the things for me she found a teacher blind teacher she said told him to teach me whatever she didn't know that what is the things the visually impaired can study but she said you guide us and teach her whatever the best you feel that i like this i started learning braille then that time that was the notion that a visually impaired person is there it may be she or he can become a good singer so she found a teacher to teach me music but the, it was first thing if any blind child is there they were thinking acha usko gana sikha do kind of thing not like that i am not interested in singing but i don't know it has started in that age of 6 learning music and also started learning you know braille and other things and started studying like this i started study lit uh, you know 7 8 years with the help of my brother sister whatever they were studying they were when they were you know reading loudly 
I more than them, I remember all the passage and I will be, you know, keep on repeating to them. So they were watching me and my father was a businessman and he was always teaching me maths kind of things, you know, very nicely. They taught me all the tables, everything I have learned when I was six years old. And he was keep on asking me questions. Okay, you can tell me like this, like this, kind of things. So I have learned so many things from my parents. I can say that in the beginning stages. Then I completed my eighth standard. Then my teacher, the blind teacher who taught me Braille, he said ki at home nothing will happen. Better you put her in the school. School mein kahan dale, kya kare, who, which school will take her? At last my mother went to the school where my sister was studying. She said ki please allow her to sit in the class. Rest of the things I will take care. You just allow her to sit in the class. So they couldn't able to say no to us because we were known people in that small city. So they said, okay, let her be sit in the class. But after sometimes they knew that I could be able to study and I could, could be able to do all the things. So I was very popular in the school and college and I completed my matriculation, then I did graduation and post-graduation like this. There were so many challenges were there. I couldn't able to get this. That problem is still there. Till now <coughs> it is going on. Like to get a scriber. Because we need a person who can write for us. We keep dictating and somebody is needed. The junior class person who can write for us. But the last moment there is a problem. If by chance that person didn't come then what will happen with my exams? It was a nightmare for me. I was thinking if last moment the person did, doesn't come, then I will be losing one year kind of things. So it, all this, with these things, I completed the study. And also the problem is that time the books were not available in Braille. Because that time the media was just to read is Braille. The books were not available. So how can I study? So I need, after coming from school or college, I have appointed people, those who are reading for me or dictating me. I was keep writing in Braille 30, 40 pages every day I was typing in Braille. So like this I completed graduation, then post-graduation. After post-graduation, the, the next life I was thinking what next to do. How I will go further and what I am going to do. My father wanted to become me, uh, make me to become a professor. He was always telling you, okay, you can become a music teacher or professor and teach to the students. And after that I thought I will do, I will complete my PhD or MPhil. First you have to, I have to do the MPhil and then go for PhD, something like that, that time. Some system was there. And he started writing the, you know, to different colleges, how I, she can go further for her studies and kind of things. But somehow it didn't happen. My father, that time suddenly he passed away with a massive heart attack. And it was again a very big, you know, trauma in the family and we don't know what next to do. I belong to a very big joint family and I studied with so many my cousins, brothers, sisters, so many big family, you know, 50, 40, 50 people were staying in a very big house there in Rotak. So I had a very good childhood. I had, you know, playing with people. I, if somebody will, you know, discourage me, ki, no, 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 you are, you cannot be able to see, you cannot, you cannot play with us because you cannot see and we don't know what to do. Then I was feeling very bad. I was always telling you, I will play with you. So my mother was always a very su big supporter for me. Ki, okay, I will be with her. You you cannot disqualify her and you have to allow her to play with you. Kind of things. If somebody will tell me, you cannot do this work because of your blindness. And this was a you know, challenge for me. I said, how can somebody can tell me, you cannot do this work. If you have told me, no. I cannot do, then I have to show you how I can do this work. And I will start doing how I can do this work. And at last, I will make this work and show the people that I can do I never accepted 
कि आई कैन नॉट डू एनी थिंग लाइक दिस इट सो हैपन्ड एंड आई यू नो हैव बिकम यू नो पोस्ट ग्रेजुएशन कंप्लीट किया बट आफ्टर दैट इट वॉज बिग यू नो थोड़ा सैड टाइम था मेरे लिए कि आई डिट नो वट नेक्स्ट टू डू दैट टाइम माई फादर पास्ट अवे माई ब्रदर बिजनेस स्टार्टेड इन ए सम अदर सिटी सो वी हैव टू लीव दैट हाउस एंड वी हैव टू गो टू माई ब्रदर्स हाउस एंड देयर आई डोंट नो वट टू डू बिकॉज इन माई सिटी आई वॉज ए हीरो काइंड ऑफ पर्सन की एवरीबडी न्यू मी एवरीबडी नोज दैट आई कैन बी एबल टू गो अराउंड एंड मीट पीपल माई कॉलेज माई यू नो यूनिवर्सिटी आई वॉज गोइंग अलोन एंड आई वॉज डूइंग ऑल दिस वर्क बट गोइंग टू ए न्यू सिटी देर इट वॉज वेरी डिफिकल्ट फॉर मी टू अटैच विद द पीपल एंड काइंड ऑफ डू द वर्क एंड माई मदर वॉज वेरी स्केयर्ड कि हाउ यू कैन डू नाउ द वर्क काइंड ऑफ डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ एटमोसफियर हैपन टू थ्री ईयर्स इट पास लाइक दिस बट देन आई केम टू बैंगलोर माई सिस्टर एंड ब्रदर इन लव वॉज हियर एंड आई जस्ट केम हेयर फॉर द हॉलीडेज देन दे एनकरेज मी वाई डोंट यू स्टार्ट सम वर्क हेयर ओनली वी कैन गिव यू फ्रीडम यू कैन गो अराउंड मीट पीपल सी हाउ द पर्सन विद डिसबिलिटीज आर वर्किंग बिकॉज स्टिल दैट टाइम आई डेंट हैव एनी आइडिया अबाउट अदर ब्लाइंड पर्सन एंड डिजेबल पर्सन आई वॉज विद अ साइटेड वर्ल्ड ओनली तो आफ्टर कमिंग हेयर देन आई वेंट एंड विजिट लॉट ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वर्किंग फॉर द विजली इम्पेयर एंड अदर डिजेबिलिटीज मैट क्वाइट अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल दैट टाइम आई मैट वन लेडी मिसिस हेमा शी वॉज ऑन द व्हील चेयर एंड शी वॉज द फाउंडर ऑफ अनदर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एसोसिएशन ऑफ द पर्सन विद डिसबिलिटीज ए पी डी इन लिंगराजपुरम एंड समहाउ वी वर कनेक्टेड विद ईच अदर एंड आई वट एवर आई एम टूडे आई कैन से दैट टू डू माई वर्क आई हैव लर्न क्वाइट ए लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स फ्रॉम हर एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू हर फिलोसफी आई एम कम इन यू नो गोइंग टू यू नो स्टार्टेड दिस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड ट्राई टू फॉलो द सेम फिलोसफी लाइक वॉट शी वॉज फॉलोइंग इट and met lot of people got lot of chances to go to different countries i never you know in my childhood i was dreaming ki when i was listening from people ki i have want to visit the other countries but in my mind how i will go to other countries alone kind of things were there but when i got a chance first time to go to usa i was thrilled one organization young adult leadership training by the mobility international one organization they arrange for all persons with disability and some applications i have to fill up i filled up and my application was selected from 75 people so i was thrilled really thrilled it was my dream in my childhood that i have to go out of india and now i am getting this opportunity before it also i have visited you know first to uh, visit my visit was to malaysia thailand i visited then uh, uh, now after that i went to lot of other countries also but that was my dream to go out of india but i never thought i could be able to do so like this it was going on and mitra jyoti started in 1990 and after that the story is different you know we started in a small garage and garage to this building it is a long story goes and i can say that ki not only one person can do the work with the help of all you people with the connection of different different people we could be able to achieve all these things according to the need we started working for the person with visually impaired first work we have started working in slum areas in artgodi you know we were going to the slums we were just visiting house to house and asking is there any person with disability is in this house kind of things and bringing them for their you know corrective surgeries their education and different things we were helping but main in my mind that i must help the person with visual impairment that was my perception that whatever the uh, challenges i have faced i could make it more easy 
like this we have started our first project is talking book library in 1992 and because i was getting books in audio format or braille some books not all books some books in north india but here i felt people don't want to study the visually impaired because they don't have books in braille neither in braille nor in audio cassettes so we started books to prepare books in audio cassettes and now that audio cassette has become a digital book bank big book book bank that uh, asha ji may show you later you want to speak something about it asha ji मित्र जूते के बारे में आप बताइए ओके मैंने अपने बैग तो बता दिया